Evernote is my external brain. It's how I stay organized and get work done. Now that the desktop app is available on the Windows Store, you can be even more productive. We recognize that knowledge workers and people who value productivity, they use hundreds of tools every day, and they rely on Evernote to pull it all together and put everything in context. We know that the vast majority of our users use Evernote both in a consumer context and in a professional context. But 90% of the time when they're using in their professional lives, they're using on Windows. So when we talk about winning in the workplace, we're thinking win on Windows. Working with Microsoft was a great experience. The guidance that we were provided helped us immensely and it provides a great experience for the user. Some of the key benefits that I've seen since using the desktop bridge were the ability to leverage some of the new Windows 10 features like live tiles and notifications, and we hope to do more in the future. We use live tiles uh, so that you can stay informed in terms of when you're getting notifications or work chats. Being able to bridge the gap of not just having Evernote closed, but knowing when to open it, has been a delightful moment for many of our users. It was really important to us to be able to take advantage of the best that Windows 10 has to offer without completely rebuilding the app and without abandoning our users who may have been on Windows 7 or older operating systems. The desktop bridge provided this perfect solution for us to be able to keep all the work we'd done before and embrace the future. One of the great things about eStore for us is that it means our users are always up to date with the latest and greatest that's being produced from Evernote. When we put a new release out, which we do fairly aggressively, this will happen very quietly. With our old technology, with the MSI, it was a very intrusive process. The Windows Store has allowed us to not only find some of the most engaged users that are out there, but also target users with specific messaging and value propositions that we think will make them more successful with our app and more successful on Windows along the way. Microsoft is trying really hard to have their app partners succeed alongside of them, not just make the store itself successful. I'm Seth Hitchens. I'm David Connick. I'm Andrew Malcolm. I'm Chantal Leonard, and I build for Windows.